Hey guys, I know you've already probably watched my video repairing my SV3500 uh, Panasonic DAP machine. I wanted to show you guys the procedure to take this mechanism apart in order to clean the heads manually because cleaning takes work, but sometimes you want to just clean the whole transport. So all we need to do is we need to remove those four screws. We have to remove the front cover first. You have to take the tape compartment out, take the, take the front uh, the cover off here so that you can remove the four screws across the front here so that you can remove the front of the machine like that and then we're going to remove a screw down through here and another screw down here and then there's two more on the back side here so you might it, it, it's best to take the head preamp out of the way as well just remove the head preamp out of the way so that's out of the way. And one more screw down here. And now we need to um, unplug this plug here that plugs the switches in. And then, if this is free enough to the front, we can just lift the whole compartment up and out of the way. And now we have access to the tape path. So we can go about cleaning it. Now your mileage may vary, but I've got some original Sony head cleaners that go back to the early 80s of the Betamax days. And I've got one here that, that, that stick broke off of, so I'm just going to use this one here. Yeah, this is kind of dirty. This one I've used it a few times before, but there are some clean spots on here that haven't uh, got any dirt on them yet. So we're going to take the cleaning stick and we're just going to clean everything that the tape touches. If I want to rotate the caption shaft, I can just rotate this little gear here. This is driven by a tooth belt that right over to the caption shaft. So I can just turn that. And while I'm cleaning the capstan shaft here, I want to clean the, the head drum. I'm just going to take my cleaning stick and place it up against the head drum and then just rotate my head drum counterclockwise. And I'll do the same for all the guides. For the guides I can actually use a Q-tip or something else. You don't want to use a Q-tip on the actual heads because that's a good way to break the heads. I should have a, a clean Q-tip here, which I have a few. So we'll just wet our cotton swab and just clean all of the rollers and the guides. And our pinch roller over here. Now this deck that I've just overhauled that I just bought I'm likely going to be putting this one up on the market now that it's fixed. That's why I'm giving it a good clean and complete overhaul before I sell it. So to put this thing back in, we just reverse the process. Don't forget to pick up our little connector from the back there. And it just drops in place. And then we have our, our screws.
And then we can once again just slide the front face piece back on. I haven't put my twist tie in here to hold these wires in place just yet, but I will be doing that before this unit completely goes back together. As I say, I spent several hours on it that you saw in the previous video that the video probably runs, I think, about 40 minutes, but uh, I spent the better part of about three hours recapping the board and cleaning the gunge off of this I missed it when I initially did the service but the this little ceramic capacitor here that soldered down or it was glued down with uh, circuit glue and it, it had deteriorated the connections here so I fixed that up so that's that now we can power it up and put our front cover on it just slides in place like uh, like that. That's all done. And there we go. I still don't have it hooked up to speakers as I haven't made any uh, patch cords to convert the XLR to unbalanced. And this only has XLR. But there we go. There's our music playing. I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick, quick video on how to clean an SV3500 manually. We'll catch you in the next one.